Hello, George Romanich here. In your room and my room, there are billions upon billions of atoms. Imagine there is a game in which we need to place bets of most likely speed of atoms in our rooms. Or in another way, imagine you pick a random atom from your room. What would be your best guess that the speed of that atom is? That's what we are going to explore today. We will use Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution to determine most probable speed of atoms in an ideal gas. That is also called mode speed. Let's see how that is done. We will start from Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of speeds where f of v is probability density function of speeds of atoms, m is their mass, t is absolute temperature, k is Boltzmann constant. Let us first sketch how this distribution looks like. We discussed it in great details in my previous video. Here is probability density function f of v and here is our random variable speed of atoms v. We saw that the distribution function might look like this. It is positively skewed or skewed to the right. We also saw that maybe somewhere here is the mean speed of atoms in the gas and because distribution of is skewed the mean speed is not the most probable speed. The most probable speed is associated with the peak of this distribution and I will call it VMP, most probable speed. How does one find this most probable speed? Well, relatively easy. We will treat this problem just like any mathematical function, we see this is the maximum of our function f of v, so we will take derivative of f with respect to v and set it equal to zero. In other words, we will have df dv and we set that equal to zero. df dv is further equal, so we have 4 pi and then this constant square root m divided by 2 pi kt to power 3 and then I need to find derivative of this product over here so it will be 2 v and then I multiply this term over here e to negative mv squared divided by 2 kt and then I will take derivative of this exponential function and multiply with this. So it will be negative because of this negative. So v squared, that is this one. And then I have m divided by 2kt times derivative of this, which is 2v. And then this exponential function e to negative m v squared divided by 2kt and I have to set this equal to zero. That means I can right away divide by this whole constant term and that disappears. Exponential function is never zero, so I can cancel these two. I can also cancel this two and this two, or rather divide by two. And notice that I will get therefore that I have these velocities which immediately become my VMP because I set it equal to zero. So I will have this VMP minus M over 2 KT and this V squared and this will give me VMP cubed and that is equal to zero. Or I can further divide this once by VMP and get that VMP squared is equal simply 2KT divided by M. This is further equal upon taking square root that VMP is equal square root of 2KT divided by M. And this is our most probable speed of atoms in an ideal gas, such as air in our rooms. Here is a table that shows 
mode speed, which is the most probable speed that we just calculated, this is fancier technical name, for different gases in air as well as radon. Notice that most probable speed of nitrogen at the temperature of 23 degrees Celsius is 419 meters per second. The speed of hydrogen at the same temperature is much, much higher, and that's because hydrogen is lighter than nitrogen, and you will see that the heavier the atom, the smallest, most probable speed, which is in accordance with our table over here. Notice that this table also gives us the so-called median speed. Let us now discuss what median speed is. If we go back to our plot of the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, there is a speed on this graph that separates the area under the graph in two equal parts. And that speed is somewhere here qualitatively, and I will call it V M E D, median speed. Median speed, as I just said, makes sure that this part of the graph is equal to this area under the graph. That also means that 50% of atoms in a gas have speed smaller than median speed, and 50% of atoms in the ideal gas have speed that is larger of median speed. How do we find median speed? Well, there is a simple empirical formula to estimate it. And the formula says that V most probable mode speed or most probable speed is approximately equal three times V median speed minus two times mean speed. Or from here, we can see that V median is now equally, if I accept this approximation, V most probable plus two times V mean divided by three. Some of you might say, but why using this empirical formula, why not deriving it explicitly like in the case of mode speed or mean speed in the previous video? Well, the reason is it turns out this median speed cannot be calculated in terms of elementary functions. One way to get it is to look into this graph and say this area needs to be equal to this area, which means that the integral from zero to the value of the median speed of our probability density function f of v dv needs to be equal to this area, and that is integral from v median to infinity f of v dv. However, it turns out these integrals cannot be solved in terms of elementary functions. We have to introduce error functions. I do have video on error functions, but I don't want to go into it at this time, so I will just express empirically median speed in terms of the most probable or mode speed and mean speed. In these positively skewed distributions, such as Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, median speed always sits between most probable speed and the mean speed in the gas. If we go back to our table, you will indeed see that median speed, for example, of water vapor, sits right between mode speed, that is below median speed, and mean speed, that is higher than median speed. And you can observe the same pattern for other gases. If we take oxygen at room temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, we see that 50% of atoms have speed below 426 meters per second, and 50% of atoms have speed above this value. If there is that betting game in your room, now you know that your best guess for the most likely speed of nitrogen atoms in your room is 419 meters per second. Given that your room temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, if you change 
temperature of the room, you have to recalculate these values. But you know how to do it if you watched my videos. You also know if they ask you what is the average speed of atoms in your room. You should say it's not the same as mode speed because distribution is skewed to the right. Average speed is somewhat higher. How to carry out these calculations? All that is explained in details in my videos. Until next video, goodbye.